Hello again crew folks and uh, welcome to the third video. Um, so the last time we looked at the form, uh, the opening of the form and we did the, f the three part in White Horses main. Uh, this week we're going to look at uh, a, an empty stance, our first empty stance and then the next section. Okay, and uh, so I'll go back here and we'll get started. So I'm just going to cover what we did last week really quick. And starting from here, okay, I'm just going to cover what we did and then we'll move it on from there. Okay, so from last week, what we did was the opening. So we're rooting into the right leg, stepping out to the left. And then once in the center, raising the hands. And as we lower, bending the knees that wee bit more. From there, we step in. Holding the ball, so we're heel to heel, hips diagonal. St stretch the hip out to the side, putting the heel down, and then the first parting wild horse's mane, pushing the right heel back. So there we are, rear foot's 45 degrees. Sit back, turn the hips, turn the hand, step and hold the ball, and then step out. And as we come forward, right palm up, left one down. And then one more, sit back, turn the hand and hips, step up, hold the ball, step out and forward again. So that's the final of the three, where we left off in last week's video. So I'm just going to concentrate now this week on from this posture and go through it a few times. Looking at first, the first empty stance, the white crane opens its wings and then the bridge knee push section. So we're going to do a half step with the right foot towards the left. As we do so, we we'll hold the ball, left hand up, and then we we'll sit back into the right leg. And as the hands pass, left palm down, right one up, we we'll step in, putting the ball of the foot down the right leg. Okay, so as I say, I'm just going to concentrate on this section from this point. So if we look at this last Parting wild horse's mane, where we'd finished in the last video. So, first thing is the half step. Okay, keeping the weight in the left leg. And then once we sit back, we step in towards the centre. You'll see this, the, the, the width of this when I'm coming towards the camera, when I'm demonstrating that way. But again, remember the principle of empty stance is you're able to take this foot to the ground. You're not sort of bringing your weight in any way into that leg. You're keeping the back in the right leg, okay? So from, from here, the stages of getting into this next empty stance. First, the half step. As we do so, we're holding the ball, left hand up, and then we sit back. And as we step into the empty stance, left palm down, right hand up. So to go into our first brush knee from this point, the hands pass like we're holding the ball. This time the left hand, centre of the chest, right hand below the navel. As the centre turns, the right arm extends. Note the way I'm looking at it. As it folds, I'm going to step back out to the side. I'm still back here and then we'll come forward with the first brush knee push. Okay, so we're going to sit back turning the hips diagonal and as we come forward the left arm comes up again looking at the left hand. I'm stepping in heel to heel as the arm folds, stepping out diagonally and then bringing the weight into the right leg. This time right hand down, left hand out. And then we do one more of those, sitting back holding the ball forward as the right arm comes up, as it folds we step in and out and then that's our last of the three brush knee pushes. Okay, so I'm going to do that one more time from here, from the, the part in the last part of my horse's mane and then we'll look at, it, look at it from a different angle. Okay, so just just as a wee, uh, as, as, as a wee extra if you remember when we were doing the, 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 the classes before, and this is good practice, and I'll, I'll actually do this now, I'll interject this, 
I'll do it from a couple of different angles. Uh, the, 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 what we call the Tai Chi or Qi Kung walking. Okay, this is something we did, and this is in the stepping sequences, like we've done part and wild horses, me and there and I just looked at the brush knee push. This is the, the movement that we're utilizing. Okay, so bow stance, two thirds of the weight on the left leg, and right foot diagonal, round about shoulder width. So for the, for when, if, if you wanted to practice just, just the walking to get used to this, sit back, turn the hips diagonal, the foot turns diagonal, and we gradually bring the weight into that leg. Keeping it there, we step heel to heel, and out diagonally. So again, the weight's back, and then we come forward. And the same again. So you, you can repeat this for as much as you want. Turning the hips, sitting back, bringing the weight into the leg, stepping heel to heel, and then out without any weight shifting, and then coming forward. So if we're just looking at that just from, from another angle here, from, from, from straight on. Okay, so note the width as well as the length of stance here. Okay, and sitting back, turning. Everything turns the hips to foot, bringing the weight into the leg, stepping heel to heel, and then out, so diagonally. So again, when you come forward, you've got this width as well as length of stance. And then we'll just do one more. So again, you can do as many of these as you want, as much as room permits. Okay. Um, so that's that's something that we would have done before we did form, you know. So if you want to even have a week old, that we practice that just to get comfortable with that. What we call the rooting in the form. So so we're gonna we're gonna look then at the at the uh, the the, the part, uh, sorry the the brush knee push from a couple of different angles now. Okay. So just from this one again. So that's our last position. Parking white horses main. So there's a half step as we hold the ball, and then we sit back and the hands pass. So there's the weight crane, opens its wings, left palm down, right one up. The hands change place. As the center turns, the arm extends, the right arm, the left hand still at the center of the chest. As the arm folds, step out to get width of stance, and then there's our first brush knee push. We sit back, turning the hips to the other side. As we come forward, the left arm comes up, and we step in and out as the arm folds, and that's our second brush knee push. And then one more, sit back, forward as the arm comes up, step in and out, and there's the final of the three. So I'm just going to do that now, coming towards the camera. So uh, we're in our last position then from the last week was this part and white horse's mane. So in the half step, we hold the ball. And then we sit back as the hands pass and we step into our empty stance on the ball with the foot, white crane opens its wings. The hands change position till we're holding the ball again, left hand up. As the center turns diagonal, the arm extends. As it folds, we step back out to get with the stance, and then we come forward with our first brush knee push. We sit back, hold the ball. As we come into the left leg, the left arm comes up. As the arm folds, we step in and out, and then we come forward with a second brush knee push. And then finally, sit back, hold the ball, forward as the right arm comes up. And as the arm folds, step in and out, and that's the final of the three recently push steps. Okay, so have a go at that. Um, when you're when you're put, put more emphasis into this, what I've been showing you this week in terms of the, from the, uh, the the way crane opens its wings to the brush knee and through the brush knee steps, and then just put them all together, build the form up, just build it up slowly as we go on. Okay, so um, I'll see you in the next video next week. Uh, have a good one, folks. All the best.